Rewiring a house without tearing off plaster can be a challenge. Because plaster walls have different strengths and weaknesses, it is necessary to break down the entire wall to get to the wires and switch panels. This can involve cutting away the old wiring, reinstalling it, and patching it up. The difficulty of rewiring a plastered house depends on how skilled the electrician is, but it is not impossible. If you are going to rewire a house without tearing off plaster, you will have to prepare the walls first. Make sure you move furniture out of the way and cover any floorboards. Cut out the old wiring with a hacksaw, making sure to disconnect all the existing wires before moving on to the new ones. Install the new wiring. Be careful not to hit the old ones, since they could potentially be in the ceiling. The rewiring process can be very disruptive. It involves running cables through walls, ceilings, and under floorboards. Rewiring a house requires removing all the existing wiring, which can cause major disruption. It may also require you to remove flooring, carpets, and even lift ceilings. Fortunately, there are a number of DIY options that can help you save money. Once you know how to rewire a house without tearing plaster, you can move on to the next step. After you have removed all the plaster, you need to feed the wiring down to the appropriate outlet. Rewiring a home may be a difficult task, but it is definitely worth it. This process will make the house more energy efficient and add value. So, whether you want to renovate or repair, the right materials and tools can make the process easier. Before rewiring a house, it is important to consider the type of wiring. A newer house will have less electrical wiring than a 1920s one, so make sure that the wiring is in good condition. A professional electrician can also install new electrical circuits and replace outdated ones. The job will be cheaper and easier if you plan ahead and prepare the wiring properly. A qualified electrician will ensure that the wiring is safe and the job is completed correctly. Before rewiring a house, it is important to check the wiring. Although it is essential to avoid damaging the paint, the wiring can lead to a fire. If the electrical wires are in a good state, you can repair them without removing the plaster. If the wiring is in bad condition, a professional will be able to fix it. The process will be more affordable if you plan to do the job yourself. Rewiring a house without tearing plaster walls is a very important task. It is essential to avoid tearing down the walls to reach the electrical wires. Expert electricians use a crawl space to access internal wires without tearing down the walls. They will charge you more for the rewiring because they are better at using these tools. There is no need to tear down the plaster when rewiring a house. If you can't afford to tear down the walls, try rewiring your house without tearing plaster. Depending on the type of wiring, it can be done in a basement, attic, or crawl space. Getting access to the studs can be tricky, so it is best to consult a professional before beginning the project. However, it's best to hire an electrician who can handle this task. It is possible to rewire a house without tearing down plaster. Unless you're working with an old house with plaster walls, it can be difficult to reach the wires. This method requires an electrician to take down plaster walls and replace them with new ones. A good electrician can rewire a house without tearing off plaster. This method can save you time and money, but ripping out the plaster can be risky.